Grand Rising, my loves. I'm Cara Christ here. So, <sighs> there have been many things that me being connected to God, me being God in the flesh, I have been able to recover certain things, to literally revisit moments in order to see what happened. And not just from like experiencing it from my own body, but even sometimes being in the body of the other person and experiencing it through them. And there's been so many things that has been revealed to me that I experienced in my childhood that I I've been a victim of that I had no memory of, none. And there's been a lot of things that I've discussed publicly that I had no proof. I had no proof. Only proof I had was the conviction of the Holy Spirit within me because I know that I am connected to God and I hear from God. So I took it as true without zero physical, tangible <clears throat> proof. So, one of the first things that was revealed to me was that the woman who raised me, my mother, for all intensive purposes, um, is a child molester. And she didn't just molest me, she molested other little girls. And then soon after that, it was revealed to me that she's not even my mother that she took me somehow from the hospital because my biological mother died after giving birth to me, gave me a different birthday, a, a name that fits the father of who, of the child that she had because her child was born, stillborn, and she had no baby. My mother passed, so I had no mother. No, I mean, honestly, if I was in those shoes and I was her, and this baby was abandoned and all alone because her mother had died and my baby died and I had no baby, I would have probably done the same thing. So I don't fault her for giving me a home when I didn't have anyone. But the things that she subjected me to, the way she let her greed for material possessions and money dictate what she allowed to take place that ha that was harmful to me it's completely unacceptable completely unacceptable and again i don't have any proof that she is a child molester i don't have any proof that she molested other people and i didn't have any proof that she kidnapped me i do now i took a dna test and I just got the results back last night. It's funny because when God first allowed me to see the truth, I kind of fabricated this whole identity just so I could disassociate with who I thought I was. I see now why I was allowed to go so far with it, but I originally thought I was Creole because that is the ancestry of the people I was raised by. And then after I was, it was revealed to me that my mother is not my mother and my father is not my father, I was, I was um, under the impression that I was um, Afro-Latina. Um, based on the DNA results, now God did tell me there were going to be some surprises. I wasn't quite sure what that was, but I was prepared for anything. Turns out I am Creole, like I thought, which makes a lot of sense because that's just, it, it just makes a lot of sense. But not a single one of my relatives are who I thought they were. Meaning, my parents are not my parents. Meaning, I was kidnapped. Meaning, she committed a crime. And there is no statute of limitations on kidnapping in California. I looked it up. So I literally have the proof that proves that she is a criminal. Now, I don't have proof yet that she is a child molester, but I do have proof that she kidnapped me. And I don't want to press charges. I just want her to get help. Because now, 
I checked in on her. She's advertising for some like daycare, boys and girls club after school program because God won't allow her to get any foster children. She's always trying to get a hold of children. And God shared with me, she doesn't have any clients yet. But the thought that she's out there and she's advertising that and me knowing how harmful she is to children, it made me angry to see that she still has her claws in this life. And then of course, all she did was just tell people that I was crazy. Cause you know, who would believe me? I didn't have any proof. <sighs> There's been so many things that God has revealed to me in, in these last few years that have been coming to pass, prophecies coming to pass, revelations um, showing proof now. This is just the tip of the iceberg. But like I told you, dad, you're not my dad. I'm not your daughter. We're not family. We're not related. And all my so-called cousins and family members who just talk about me and gossip about me and watch my page just to run back and tell them everything. Like, you're not my family either, so I don't feel any obligation to you. You clearly don't feel any obligation to me. So let's just leave it at that. I literally have thousands of cousins that came up. Thousands of cousins. And not a nan one of them is a Wesley, a Ross, a Deantic Knack. None of the names that I was given growing up. None. And the Deantic Knacks is a very large clan of people. Not a single Deantic Knack. Not a single Wesley. Not a single Ross. Y'all are not my family. So now I have more questions than answers. Because... I thought I knew who my mother was, and I was given a name and a birthday and an ethnicity, but I see now that that was kind of just a pacifier to give me some type of comfort, and I was shown a vision of what my, my biological mother looks like. She looks just like the woman who raised me, like just like her. It's weird, except a little bit more fair, which is weird because the woman who raised me is like super fair. But she has slightly more um, European features. So I'm African and uh, like Scandinavian. I have Scandinavian, I have Iberian, Baltic, and Italian. And then it's like Portugal and Spain. Mostly Scandinavian and then mostly African, different regions of Africa. I'm mostly um, Nigerian. That's the biggest percentage of what I am is Nigerian from the Yoruba tribe. And that is something that God had already shared with me previously and I started looking into the Yoruba tribe. This was more so when I was still into new age, but still I was getting to know my roots. But I don't know. I just, I just feel this. I feel relief because now I know for sure that what got revealed to me, that what God allowed me to see and to know and to remember is 100% fact. I'm not a Wesley. I'm not a Deantic Mac. And God has already given me a new name. Like, I have my name. I know who I am. I'm Omkara Tatiksa. That is my name. Who my family is, I don't know. Who my parents are, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Because... This is not real anyway. I'm only putting on flesh so that you all can see that God is real. And it's just, I know there are going to be a lot more things that will be coming out and coming to the surface and that will be shown and proven. And it's not even like this like satisfaction or like this gloating type of energy. It's just a relief. It's seriously a relief. Like the relief that I felt when I revealed that I'm Christ and I got that out and I didn't have to talk about it anymore and I have to hold it in anymore. It was just, it's been said, it's done. It's been said, it's done. So y'all can call me crazy if you want to, but I got proof, baby. So just wait. There's going to be so much more.